guys welcome back to a brand new video today today is my last video for 2018 and before I forget I'd like to wish you guys a happy new year if you are out New Year's Eve uh, you know stay safe um, if you're watching this after uh, New Year's Eve I hope you had a great night out um, but as I've said, this is my last video of 2018. You know what it is. It's my Premier League predictions for week 21. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So as always, you can tell what game we're going to kick off with. But we'll go to that anyway. Um, it's Everton versus Leicester. Everton loses to Brighton uh, this weekend. Just gone. Um, I thought very stoppy by Everton, if I'm all honest. Um... Leicester, I think Leicester beat, I think Leicester won, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I think they beat City uh, the midweek, but I'm not sure about this weekend just gone. Uh, Leicester fans, you can update me on that one. Um, as the scoreline goes, um, I'm predicting a Leicester win. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline. I think that defeat to Everton against Brighton may just dampen their spirits just a little. The next one is Arsenal versus Fulham. Um, Fulham beating Huddersfield this weekend, just gone. Um, Arsenal lost to Liverpool 5-1. A really big defeat to uh, Liverpool. Um, Arsenal fans are not happy the way they're playing. Um, so that's going to be an interesting game um, but I am going to predict an Arsenal win for this one and I'm going to predict a 3-0 Arsenal scoreline the next one is Cardiff versus Tottenham Tottenham losing to Wolves this, uh, this weekend um, Cardiff winning over I can't remember I can't remember who uh, Cardiff won against. I know you won the game anyway. Um, and that's quite a big surprise. Um, actually, no. Cardiff beat Leicester. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I've got to apologise um, to Wolves. Just while I remember for uh, last weekend's prediction. Uh, yeah, the last prediction video I did. I did say you lost to Fulham where you didn't. You drawed. So, I do apologise for that. But as far as this fixture goes, I am going to go for... A Spurs win, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline. I'm expecting a pretty scrappy game. The next one is Bournemouth versus Watford. Bournemouth have just lost to United as I'm speaking. Um, and I think Watford beat Newcastle. I'm not sure if they beat, uh, beat Newcastle or drawed. But, uh, you know, Watford were expecting... Um, you know, to possibly win that game a lot more than what I did. If I, I'm not, I think that actually drew, if I remember. Um, I was trying to remember all these fixtures, and it's a bit hard for me to remember them all. Um, but I do try and remember most of them, if possible. But as this fixture goes, I'm going to stick up for my dark horses for this season, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 Watford win. The next one is Chelsea versus Southampton. Ever so flying Southampton. Um, going up against a very dom dominant Chelsea side. Um, I ain't going to beat around the bush with this one. I'm going to call it a draw. I'm not, I don't think Chelsea will turn up. But I don't think Southampton will hold back either. And I'm going to go with a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Huddersfield versus Burnley. Low flying Huddersfield, 10 points on the table midway through. Um, looks like they're going to go down. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see if, see if that does actually happen. Um, well, as Burnley, on the other, other hand, did beat West Ham this previous weekend, just gone 2 0. Um, I don't think anyone saw that coming. But as far as the fixture goes, I'm going to stick up for Burnley for this one. And I'm going to have to go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. Trust me, if all these 2-1s come in, I will be surprised. 
Um, the next one, just to be speaking about, um, is West Ham versus Brighton. Brighton are looking for their fourth win in a row against West Ham. Um, as I just said, West Ham lost to Burnley. Um, you know, it's going to be one of them things, I think, where Brighton will win again. Um, I just see things with West Ham and they haven't really changed much. They're just, I think, been a bit lucky with the players they got. Um, and, you know, taking their chances. But I'm going to predict a 3-1 Brighton win. The next one is Wolves versus Palace. High-flying Wolves. Um, you know, doing okay their first um, season in the Prem. Uh, Palace, on the other hand, uh, losing to Chelsea this weekend, just gone. Um, you know, his alarm bell started to ring at Selhurst Park. We're going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to predict um, Wolves to win this one. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 scoreline. The next one, and it's probably game of the weeks. Um, well, there's two. I'll just send the other one. Um, is Newcastle versus Man United. Newcastle, Man United always have belt of games. Um, they're always ones that I look forward to. Um, as a neutral football fan. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to have to go with a 3-0 Manchester United win. The next one, and this is probably the game of the midweeks, and it's my last one. Um, so, but anyway, it's Manchester City versus Liverpool. Uh, it's Liverpool flying high. As I've said earlier in this video, beating Arsenal... Um, five one, City getting back into the second spot. I think this game's gonna be really interesting. Um, no matter what way you look at it, you can look at it that Liverpool go create a big gap at the top, or City win, and they're gonna, you know, increase the lead at the top. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think this game's gonna be a draw, and I'm going for a two-two scoreline. Guys, um, you know what to do, give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, um, if you enjoyed this video I should say. Um, but guys, as I said at the start of the video, I hope you have a great new year. If you're out New Year's Eve, make sure you look after yourself, stay safe. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.